Forgive me for making you search. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth, I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. They are in good health, then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. After a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kyan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gosetsu. Good men all, brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them and Doma. But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind, that they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? He said, good, we are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, when those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. But you remain resolute, even in the face of everything we have seen. It heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. An Imperial airship. It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others.
you are. What happened? Are the villagers all right? We freed them, along with many others. Kosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Know you aught of it? Aye, that we do. The Crown Prince is come to Doma. We suspect this is a result of recent events in Girabania. Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. Though Yotsuyu governs Doma, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy, and it would seem he has come to assess the current situation in person. If Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. Would that it were so simple, Lady Yugiri. You may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. We have seen firsthand what he can do. His power defies explanation. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. We survived and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him, it will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. We know his strengths. A prodigious swordsman trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. Nay, we keep to the shadows, the domain of the Shinobi, and thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. Were this but a matter of personal revenge, I would not presume to bar your path, for I myself crave that same vengeance. But to draw steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's words. What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. Even should you succeed, Xenos' death will not win Doma her freedom. More likely, her doom. Can we defend our people against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child! Mayhap I am a fool with foolish dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! Yugiri, wait! What now? <laughs>